Hi, I'm Bill Griffith. In my previous demos, I showed you how to build a business process from scratch with just your web browser uh, for ordering pizza. I also showed you how to connect to Operation Decision Manager um, so that business users can manage the uh, pricing policies for the pizza. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use cognitive services from IBM Watson uh, to detect the sentiment of a customer so that you can take the next best action uh, as the manager. So my process here tracks the pizza. What I'm going to do is create a new type of process called customer complaint. And IBM BPM makes it easy to have multiple types of business processes. I'm going to change the name of the swim lane to customer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an activity over here. And it's going to be complaint. And then I'm going to have the manager uh, review. So let's put a swim lane for the manager. And now you see in this case it makes more sense to do say a manager team. And then you can specify the users that you want to add. Uh, groups, users, etc. So in this I'll just select the all users as the default. Uh, and now I'll create a task here called um, resolve complaint. All right, and then I wire this together, and then here, and then I'll just neaten it up here. All right, so that's the basics of the flow. Now I need to create the data that I'm going to capture. So I need a uh, private variable. It's just within this flow. It's going to be who is the customer. And you'll recall from my previous example, I already built this customer data type. Uh, I'll also need to capture the date of complaint. And uh, IBM BPM uh, has a data, a date type already. I'll create a field for text of complaint. And that's a string. And then I'll have a customer sentiment. You know, what, uh, what's their feeling? Are, are they frustrated? Are they disgusted? Are they sad, happy, etc.? Okay, I can save that. Now I go back over to my definition and I'm going to create a new activity for this. You see it has the default. I'm going to create a new one, make it responsive. I'll just use the values that uh, are previously defined and I'll do finish. And you'll see that um, there's the coach from before, very similar, it automatically populates it. And so now I'll just remove some of these things that I don't need, just make it a little tidier. I'm just hitting the delete button. I'll leave your phone number so I can call you. And then the date of complaint. And then let's just change this to a text area, a little bit more space. And then the sentiment, I don't need that. The Watson's gonna calculate that for me and then I save that. All right, now I can close this and I'm back over here. Uh, now what I need to do is go to Watson and I'm gonna take that text and pass it to Watson. So I go to Bluemix, uh, IBM Bluemix, uh, create an account if you don't have one, uh, I have one, and I'm gonna create a new service and I'm gonna choose the tone analyzer. Let's uh, filter by Watson, tone analyzer, and this this cognitive service is already pre-trained. Uh, some services uh, need to be trained um, with your customer data. You can imagine in a pizza application, if I say I want a carnivore pizza, uh, that may be all meat. If I said I wanted a meat lovers, that could be all meat as well. But the different naming uh, would need to be trained by you for your specific uh, situation. You can imagine saying, you know, I want to order a pie. And if I'm talking about a pizza restaurant, then I mean a pizza. If I'm talking a bakery, uh, perhaps I mean a uh, pecan pie. So uh, obviously that training is important so that you can personalize it uh, just for your business. Uh, so I'm gonna call this the pizza complaint service. Tone and credentials are fine and I'll say create. And now that service is running on Bluemix on IBM's cloud, ready to go. And now I just need the credentials on how to call it. All right. So now what I need to do is get the API for how to call this guy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to IBM Watson uh, API Explorer. 
drill into that and then you'll see the tone analyzer and what I'm going to do is download the swagger uh, definition of this API uh, so that I can import it into BPM. So I'm going to replace this APIs with listings and I'm going to append a JSON to the end and there you see the swagger. So now I'm going to say file save as and I'm going to save that to the downloads and we'll just call it Pizza Tone Swagger. I save it. Now I jump back over to BPM land and in the latest BPM on cloud there is this new um, service for an external service that I showed in ODM. Connecting to ODM. So now I'm going to point to that Pizza Swagger and I'm going to say uh, pizza Tone Swagger, that's fine for the service name. And you'll see it uh, imported the service and the datas and, and what have you. So I'm going to close that. Now what I need to do is go back to my server definition and specify the credentials and the connection uh, for this. So I need the host name. That's going to be uh, my server definition here. My host name, I go back over to here, I paste it. I'm going to be on 443, which is SSL port, and then I need to specify the credentials. <clears throat> and you'll see over here, here is my username. Copy that. And I'll go over here and paste that username in, and then I go back and get the password. And I'm going to copy that in as well. And then I'm going to save. Uh, okay, now I need to create a service flow, just like an ODM, to invoke this uh, Watson service. So I'm going to say call Watson Tone Service. I'm going to say finished. And now I'm going to create a script to call that with. All right, call that here. And then I'll flow out to here. All right, now I'm going to change the name of this to uh, call Watson Tone Analyzer. And then I'll do the script. Now to save time, I've copied this uh, code. I'll explain it in just a second here. Uh, copied this in. Uh, this name needs to match the name of my service, uh, which is uh, Pizza Tone Swagger. <laughs> And, uh, and then you'll see these are the values that it's expecting, text to be analyzed, and customer sentiment, which I don't have, so I need to create those. I'm gonna create input called text to be analyzed, and it's a string, and then it's gonna pass out output called customer sentiment. And I go to my diagram. So now I can go here and I'm going to go into my submit a claim complaint and I'm going to grab that service, drag it onto the canvas, specify uh, which service, which is that uh, call Watson tone service. And then I can delete this OK button and then I'll move it over to here. And then I'll have it go to output here uh, and this service. Let's just call this uh, check sentiment Watson doesn't matter and you'll see that it needs data coming in so I'm going to take the text that's part of the form the HTML form and then I'm going to pass it back out to the customer sentiment field and then I save that I can close this and now I'm at my process um, and I can test it here so I claim the first task and you'll see I can put in my name, Bill Griffith, and I found a worm in my pizza. And I hit OK. Service finished. And in the inspector, I can go in and analyze the data. And you see right there, Watson came back with the sentiment of disgust. So then I'll stop that and then uh, give you another one, another example, just so you can see the differences. Run it again, a new form, and this time I'll say your pizza 
is not good. Now you notice I said not good, but if you did a keyword search on good, you'd think that was positive. And in fact, I would encourage you to search your favorite search engine and say find news not including celebrities. And what you will probably find is a whole bunch of news about celebrities. And you see in this case, not good, so anger is the sentiment. So there you have it. In a short amount of time, uh, I've walked you through how to create a new process, how to instantiate a, a cognitive service running on IBM Blue Mix uh, that's ready to go. It's already trained on the English language. And so I can pass in text. And then in BPM, I can actually make decisions and route based off of that sentiment on how I want to resolve that problem. So by adding that cognitive capability, I can augment the work uh, for my uh, users um, and for my uh, employees. Thank you.